Hello and welcome to episode 4, yes 4 of our Let's Play Europa Universalis 4 as Tuscany. Um, well, we're quite a large country now in central Italy. At the moment we are at war with Venice, England and Portugal, but this war is probably not going to involve much fighting by us since we can't actually attack the other enemies. Oh, except for this English. Okay, we killed some English. Excellent. We are helping. Um, just talk about the strategic situation a bit while this war is happening. We are currently allies with Hungary, France, who is our main ally, Manchua, the tiny state in here, and someone else. I am really good at knowing who my ally is. Oh, Milan, of course, Milan. Oh, production research floor. The new techniques in our productions are rumoured to be flawed, and several leading nobles argue we should discard them and go back to the old and tried methods instead. It doesn't seem very Venetian to just abandon innovation. Ignore them, lose 10 prestige. I got 51 prestige. That's plenty we can afford to lose that, or lose 15 administrative power. I like administrative power. Sorry, we are being... Innovative. So yes, those are my allies. And the problem I'm going to face in the future is that Castile, oops, really click on, Castile, Aragon, and Naples are all under one royal family. Which means that in the future that's probably going to be one really massive country right on my southern border. And as long as I can keep good relations with France, we're probably okay because France can keep them engaged in Spain, and I can probably take them Sicilian, Napoleon, Napoleon, uh, I can't remember, Neapolitan, whatever, side of their empire. The other very annoying thing is that Ferrara is blocking in, so I can't actually go north from here. Which means that I'm stuck in this little bit. Okay. So yes, that's the situation. Oh, and there's a big one in the charming. When do they get here? 8,000, 4,000, 8,000, 4,000. I've got artillery. The army of Scotland. I reckon we can actually take these guys. What's the military technology of five? I think mine's a bit higher than that. As in we are currently at level 8 and we outnumber them. So let's give this a go. Oh yeah, we are slaughtering them. The Lando versus Army of Arms. Oh, both just got knights. Oh, pretty massive victory there. And again, remember, but we have taken a loan. Well, I imagine it's because all of our, not all of them, but our ports are blockaded by the Venetian navy, but I am not keen on challenging them. Württemberg declared war on the Pope. But the Pope is allied with Austria. And Ferrari, you really won't let me walk fast. No, probably because you hate me. Actually, let's improve relations with them. And while I'm here, Supposed to be improving relations with Castile, getting them to like me. Oh, that would give me military access, fleet base and rights. They won't ally with me, will they? No. Influence, that's nothing useful. And what was I going to do? Access. No, those won't improve their relationship with me either. So we are winning this world very well. War exhaustion everywhere is high though. Oh, war enthusiasm is high, that makes more sense. Except for Venice, who aren't very keen for this war. Niccolo, oh, firstly, noble plot, we lose one stability. Niccolo Machiavelli was one of the most important writers during the Renaissance. 
While also serving as diplomat for the Florentine Republic, he is mostly remembered for being the founder of modern political science, but also wrote comedies and poetries. He will serve as a statement, gain one stability would be useful since we just lost one. Or we can gain 25 Edmund, either way, level 3 philosopher, level 2 statesman. I want to go statesman. <laughs> Diplomatic reputation. I mean, it doesn't matter, we can't afford them anyway. Okay, someone else will grab them up. Actually, I'm not sure that's the way this works. Which probably just means we can go buy them later if we suddenly become incredibly rich. Got Rome being integrated. Yep. And we placated Castile. I wasn't even paying attention, but go us. Well, we have one option. Claim our rival's province, Siena. Oh, I can do that. Um, covert, that's the one. Also, I'm going to have to apologise if I seem a bit out of it in this episode. Um... Basically we've been having power cuts for the last kind of two and a half days and there's been a massive generator outside our house running kind of 24-7 to keep what power there is on pumping through the lines, which means I haven't been sleeping as well as I would have liked. Uh, what's happened here? Austria accepted peace with Augsburg, Augsburg concedes defeat. Okay, that means nothing for me. And Castile loves us now so we don't need to send our guys there. France really loves us, so we shouldn't bother with them. Hungary also likes us. Um, what else do I need to like me? Austria, I suppose. I suppose there's not much point sending it to England. I'll get that taken in a minute. Ottomans is probably someone I should be trying to suck up to, though. can invest in a diplomatic technology. We finished our, we have finished our diplomatic ideas. Celestinus the sixth is the new pope. So let's improve our naval technology. Visit from some shady people. Well actually that's pretty much, I don't need to read that. We can refuse and gain five prestige or spy offense plus ten. I think we might refuse Ah, no, let's take it, shady people. Espionage is probably something I should be doing more since I'm in a fairly weak position. Especially since... I can't really think of anything I can do espionage-wise to help the situation in the south, other than just helping to fight these people. So discontent, support rebels, actually those could be useful. If we could get like Naples to revolt and get a different family in there, that could be very handy. Okay, we can now declare one Siena, should we choose it. Which is the only option here. Cabinet dynamism. A combination of just the correct people in our cabinet can create conditions. Why do they put four C words in a row? For a nice little boost in tax income. You'll be pleased to hear that this has just happened. Excellent, tax on fire plus 10%. And we've just discovered Arguin. Election of oh, Republican traditions low. We are going to need a bureaucrat candidate. Where should I send my diplomats? The Mamluks? Maybe. Could just try Aragon and Naples, even though it don't actually add much to things. Now that you like me a bit better. Oh no, you're pretty well never going to let us have access. 
It's been a while since I can be in the car though, but apparently I can now. Uh, this one I assume. Cool. We might get a candle. Based on the new technology, Noble Republic, which gives us new ideas. Uh, okay. So just pause it for a bit. I said espionage would be pretty good. Embargo privateer, spy defense, may sabotage reputation, diplomats plus one, spy defense plus 25%. Covert action relations impacts, Meso discontent, may infiltrate administration. What happens if I combine this with diplomatic ideas? Time to fabricate claims, minus 25%. All very useful, but probably not the best right now. Maritime ideas. Combat ability, ship repair, force summit modifier. Mm. Influence. Income from vessels, we have none. Fabricating claims, we could use that. Those would be nice, but I think it's really for if you've got vassals. Plutocratic ideas, mercenaries plus 50%, morale of armies increased, revolt risks lowered, more merchants would be good. Goods produced plus 0.1 is also good, free cities, steering towards inland, it's better but I don't think we do that. Manpower, manpower recovery speed plus 10% would be good. And what was that? Technology cost minus five percent. Also very good. And where's diplomacy in here? I don't see it. It must be in here somewhere. There it is. Improve relations plus twenty-five percent. So plutocratic ideas be really good, especially since I think we've got way more. The yeah, military technologies we've the furthest ahead. So plutocratic. I mean, admin would be good, economic would be good, innovative would probably actually might even be the best. Advisor cost must 25% is pretty useful, and it's diplomatic one. Why can't I ever see it? There it is. Advisor cost minus 10, so that's a huge reduction in advisor costs. If we go down the innovative route. But actually, other than prestige decay, technology cost army, navy, tradition. Oh, I suppose those last will be useful as well. Let's go plutocratic. Just because our military is also ahead of time and ahead of all our neighbours. So um, we can afford to get a bit behind I think. Now, Siena, I'm supposed to be taking this. Allied with Milan, Savoy, and Venice. Um, those are kind of three powerful northern states. Actually, I should make them mature, my friend. Actually, I probably should be trying to, like, vassalize Manchur or something. Ah, oh, although I can't actually defend it. Offer vassalization. They're not going to agree. A new Pope. Is that the Pope still in Bamberg? Oh, I don't think there's one mission, but I'm going to have to because it's the only one. Hey, policies. I forgot these exist. Oh, we haven't got it yet, but later we will. A loan is coming due. I cannot afford to pay it. See what happens if I declare war. Manchur will help me, but that's not good because they will probably just get absolutely hammered by those three countries. Why won't France help me? Fighting another war together minus a thousand. So in other words, we've got to stop this war first. Nobles demand privileges. Blah 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 blah. Nobles are whinging. Revolt risk risk plus two. I've already got some, but we could handle that, except their rightful demands. Um, 1495. Ah, it's only a year. Screw the nobility, we are a republic. 
And the English have invaded again. And again, they are being slaughtered. I get so much war score for defeating their armies. But, uh, yeah, we are pretty... Let's see what we can get from peace. Oh, can't make them. That would have been cool if we could have made them a vessel. I don't think they'll actually do anything. Oh, good Normandy to France. Nope. Okay, we'll just let the French handle the world. Uh, the war. Rumours are circulating that our nobility is plotting with a foreign power. Hysteria grows and the mood is fearful. The people demand that we strike at the traitors, but wiser minds that we must let the tradition of Republican justice take its course. I am in debt, but I don't need the money that much. Lose one stability. I do not want to do that. I don't want to lose stability. Ah, oh, we can lose the tradition. Oh, well, here we should pay it back. A loan. Milan and England are at peace. Actually, if I just go check here, after the war ends, France still will not help because they are heavily in debt. And they have a defensive attitude towards Tuscany. How can I fix that? They are unlikely to join offensive wars that are not directed at their rivals. Okay. And who are their rivals? Austria, Castile, England. I have no interest in fighting any of those countries. Republican traditions debated. Our young and fragile republic is experiencing severe debates, some even turning violent, between supporters of the old regime and the steady defenders of liberty and freedom. How shall we react to it? We need a king, gain one stability, that's not of any useful. This to me. Hmm. The republic is sacred. Oops, can't quite boost it. Mm -hmm. Portugal's got some colonies down here. Just discovered that there is a northern Atlantic Ocean. Oh wow. I should be paying attention. But the Portuguese and the English are trying to get to attack now. In Pisa. And we're cool more than the bus, but. I don't know, I was going to say probably not enough, but it looks like it was more than enough, actually. Where are they going to run to? Oh, just once. They still outnumber us, but they aren't going to last very long. Now to Rome. Managed to gain the numerical superiority. I'm just chasing some of new guys around my country. I don't know why the English are sending their troops to come by in Italy when the war is over Normandy. Well, they probably just view me as the easiest country to defeat, I suppose. Another loan. Just thinking in a roundabout kind of way. 
Savoy's allies are Ferrara, Mantua, Siena. I don't particularly want to fight Hungary and Mantua since they're also my allies, but Ferrara and Siena are two countries that I do kind of want to fight a war with. And I'm thinking because Savoy has, or France has claims on Savoyan, Savoyard territory, they might actually be more keen to help me. No. Nope, still not keen. Milan would help me though, that would be useful. Hungary wouldn't, they're allied to our enemy, Mantua is allied to our enemy. And Austria will protect them, which is bad. Austria distrusts us. Although they are friendly towards us. Oops, I always get influence and relations mixed up. I to improve relations. There's an English army going to go into Hungary. And it gets absolutely hammered on the beaches. They offer us peace, they offer us nothing. Oh, France accepted peace with the Venice. Venice will cede Dalmatia to Hungary. Venice will annul all treaties with England. Venice will pay 33 ducats. Fine. Let's see if Venice would like to be my ally again. Yes. That's excellent. Okay, 0 0.5 inflation for 50 military power or use caution. I only gain 10. I think we'll just gain 10. We're already pretty far ahead in military technology. Hungary accepted peace with England. So I will give Venice military access. Oh hey, my fleet can now go out and do things. Genoa, protect our trade. Mm -hmm. the royal marriage with Hungary is... Pretty good in my books. Milan, Savoy, and Venice. Milan, Savoy, and Venice. Just keep coming back to I should fight Savoy. Although I've got no actual reason to fight Savoy since. Nope, no Catus Belly. I should get one of those. Fabricate a claim on Nice. Obviously, part of Tuscan land. Available mercenaries, plus 50%. Oh, I think this will do as well. And Milan, I might try and improve relations with. Since they're a decent ally. I actually approach the sense of Venice since we're just at war and they probably might be a bit pissed off about that. Oh, hey, and we've just discovered America, I think. Yep, and it is way too far away for us to send Collins to. Oh, those nobles must not must have gone a bit pissed off with me. Okay, seventeen noble regiments rise up in Florence. We will have power fourteen regiments, and we will not do that. With new times and ship or share. Yes, I've got knights and many times, but I've also got Muto. Which I'm hoping will give me some of that at some point. But it doesn't seem like it's going to. Do you see the public position? No, I kind of want to get my public position up here. So let's tell everyone what we can get now since we've been such a military ideas. Okay, defeated the rebels. But took heavy, heavy casualties in doing so. Improving our diplomatic technology? Yes, I think so. Let's well, see, we're going to get new ships. 
Why am I still losing money? Army maintenance is way too high because we are recruiting. If we weren't recruiting new soldiers, we wouldn't be losing money. Oh, another English army showing up. Let's see how this one goes. Oh, and my fleet is out there getting sunk. And the Creek fleet lost nine ships. Bugger, bugger, bugger. I actually totally forgot I was still at war with England. And also that they like to send their troops all the way around here to fight me instead of just fighting here where they should be fighting. Can my military get any bigger? Yes, it can. Six regiments more than that needs to be. Peace over, they're still offering us nothing. And now I've got to rebuild my navy. The attitude's now friendly as opposed to defensive. Oh, yay, peace. England will cede Normandy and Co. to France. England will renounce their claims on Armagnac, La Borde, and Calais. England will pay 34 ducats. Blah, blah, blah. Excellent. Military access from the Ottomans might as well. I wonder who they're actually fighting. I probably should check that first. Lithuania, Poland, Genoa, Castile, Aragon, and Naples. That's interesting, fighting Castile, Aragon, and Naples. I hope they kind of kill each other. For want a better word. So France, you have no difference to send because I'm currently sending them everywhere else. Where's your access from Wallachia? Yes. Naples? Yes. I'm just going to say yes to everybody. Cavalry took a real beating in those fights. Okay. Now, France, how keen are you to support me in the war against Savoy? Very. Venice is not. Because they are heavily in debt, war exhaustion, and war exhaustion. Cool, whereas Mantua and Hungary are my two allies that I will lose, and I, of course I have no reason, so I'll also lose stability, whereas if I just wait a bit, whereas if I go against France and Mantua are keen, but I'll be fighting Milan and Mantua, no sorry, Milan, Venice and Hungary just won't accept, because they're in debt. Disputes affecting governments. Republics are successful when the important families are ready to put the republic's interests on par with their own. Currently, our republican traditions are under pressure, and families are putting their own interests ahead of the republics. This is hurting our ability to govern as consensus is hard to achieve. This is bad. Emperors enacted an imperial reform, blah 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 blah. The emperors decided to go through the reform and call for a Reich's reform. This reform has the following effect. The Emperor has a more centralised model, Emperor gets build costs, reduced te technology costs, increased prestige, whereas I get reduced build costs and reduced technology costs, but I don't get the prestige. Gives Casus Belli on non-members holding Imperial territory. Um, I hope I'm a member. Tuscany? Yep, I am. They oppose Institute's right regiment due to me opposing it. Huh. Mm, I think I'm just going to oppose every, everything. I don't really want the Emperor to have more power than me. So now, I can take Nice. And it will kind of ruin my alliance with Hungary and Mantua. 
not Venus. Is there anything I can do about Mandrill? Can I vassalize them? Influences it, offer vassalization, they will not accept. Okay, they're a very small power. It's a shame to lose them, but it's probably worth it. Hey, and Austria won't come and help them. Cool. First business, conquer Siena. That was an easy battle to win. Actually, it looks like Manchu is coming on my side. Nope, they're against us. France is kicking ass in Savoy. And hopefully we can capture Siena quickly. And then move on to try and take land off Ferrara. Oh, well done, Milan. Civil War is almost entirely occupied by France. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Okay, come on. Serene the port. Come on, see you now. claim their entire country. Cool, France, I think you might get some land from this. Do they claim Nice? Yes, they do. So does Milan. Um, like a selling of indulgences. As soon as a coin in the coffer rings a soul from Purgatory Springs, as Johann Tetzel said, the Pope offers indulgences for money so that souls of the rich can be saved while still continuing in sin. This is what eventually caused a fraction in the church and led to the Reformation. Taxing it would be nice. Or it's church business. I actually don't really care about the Protestant Reformation. And I hope already hates me, so I'll just take the money. Siege of Siena is open. Open. Over. Hopefully they'll sue for peace now. With full annexation. Yes. Austria declared war upon Trier. Claim our rival's province Modena. Yes, let's do that. No, we can't because they're at war. Won the Battle of Pisa, so let's just go and try and occupy Modena again. We don't think we can fabricate our claim on our own province, but we'll just try and take it. I mean, it's like France is going to grab Nice before I can, but it's not actually that big a deal, I don't think. Peace offer from Mantua. Mantua will cede Mantua to Milan and will pay 84 ducats to me. Um, that makes it sound like there's actually more to Mantua than just that one province, but I don't think there is. So I get money, Milan becomes more powerful, they like me more, I think we can handle that for now. Austria is now the purple controller. 
That's okay. Breach the wall, should we attempt an assault? No, I think I'll um, keep my troops. We can repay three of our lives. How much more do we have? Just one more. We are actually gaining money. Slowly, but gaining is gaining. Peace off from Ferrara. We'll release Modena as a sovereign state. I'd rather actually just take Modena myself. Thank you. And I'll also give me some two ducats. We'll just um, ignore that for now. Well, I should look for an ally to replace Mantua. Well, who does France like? That's right, that's not that people like, it's that they dislike those people. Uh, Genoa. Enemies of Milan and Savoy, rivals Milan and Savoy Ferrara. It's probably a no then. Hungary. I probably should anyway since I've already got a royal marriage with you. Yep, and you are keen, but we are at war, so we can't have alliances. Just a case of what should I give France? Savoy's worth a lot. Although it would tie France down a bit. Ford, Cuneo are the options. Savoy? Ford? No, that's too much. They don't want to give up Savoy. Treated with Hungary? Nope. Okay. How far off? Oh, I don't worry about it. We'll just take the money. And that should be enough to repay our loans. Ferrara is no longer powerful enough to be a rival of us. And I have no rivals. Uh. Ferrara is not powerful enough, I thought you just said. They are also our only enemy. Yeah. Something's going wrong here. I don't want to fight Venus. Venus is my ally. going to happen every month, isn't it? The Emperor of Austria demands that we return the province of Modena to the Holy Roman Empire. Denying this request will seriously impact our relations with the Holy Roman Empire. Declining will increase our revolt risk by a lot, and it's already really high in some places. Decrease tax modifier blocks, and... Emperor will receive a cast of spelly against us. Local manpower will be a lot smaller. Bunion modifier will be a lot less for lots of people. Return it to the Holy Roman Empire. Does that mean we'll make Modena independent or we'll give to Austria? I haven't played this game. Well, no, I, I have been playing this game a fair bit lately. I haven't played as a Central European power recently. Um, it's decline. I think with French help and not Hungarian help. Because they're hostile towards us. Ah, oh, let's improve relations. 
and with Venice, and with Milan. Too few rivals. Uh, Venice, I don't want to, they're my ally. But I should get on to making these things cool. Provinces. And building a more powerful military. Ten more units. Okay. I think we might get one more mortar. And have about three uh, knights. Oops. Three knights, six men at arms. So one more knight and five more men at arms to come. We've got a diplomat to send somewhere. France, Austria, Austria, since I've just pissed them off. And I don't want them to declare war on me. I wrote in Siena. I have the advantage in artillery and hopefully so you will catch up. Well, look in France has sent some soldiers down to help. So that did work out pretty alright. So that's as much as Austria will like us, plus one. It's probably not really good enough. Anyway, I think that's probably enough for this episode. Well, we've got a grand impel. We've managed to, essentially we can leave Italy now, thanks to our Milanese and Venetian allies. By which I mean we can attack Savoy, Genoa, Baden, Austria. Maybe not attack, but at least, you know, get out a bit more into the world. But the big concern, Naples, Aragon, Castile, is still there and we have done nothing to help that although they are still all busy fighting the Ottomans which means they won't be able to turn against us anytime soon and we are increasing in power managed to piss off the Emperor but it was always going to happen eventually so got to rebuild our fleet as well anyway I hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll see you all next time